Well, that's almost it for A Late Show. But before we go, I just want to say something sincere and from the heart. And my writers tell me that's exactly what they've written up here. <laughs> when we left the Ed Sullivan Theater on March 12th of 2020, I had no idea how we were going to do the show every night from our homes. But luckily, my staff did. They didn't blink at the extraordinary challenge we were facing. And they faced it not only with confidence, but also with ambition. We did shows this past impossible year that I think are as good as anything we've ever done. So I just want to say thank you to the Late Show staff and crew. You make me want to be worthy of you. And I'd like to thank my family, who, for a large part of the last year, were also my crew. I love you. And not just because this year I get to write you off as dependents and business expenses. And I want to thank you, the audience at home, for being here, too. It was a strange and scary year, but if I had to be alone, I'm glad it was with you. So that's it. Monday, we finally go back to the Ed Sullivan Theater, which means this is the series finale of what, for the past 15 months, I've been calling A Late Show. I have so many memories from this room. Looking at this camera, looking at that one over there. The time I stood in that spot, that was, that was something that happened. <laughs> but all good things must come to an end. Also this. <laughs> and while we accept that we had to spend the last 15 months in quarantine, I think it's crazy to let that define who we are. Americans like to see each other in the simplest terms, in the most convenient definitions. But we've learned that each of us is a brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Sincerely yours, A Late Show. Mom!